road. Yeah. And how long have you lived here? How long have you lived here? Since 1972. Yeah, she lived here a long mm -hmm. time. She used to live in that one, didn't you, where Veronica bought? No, I didn't. Sid used to live oh, there. Oh, Sid, Sid used to live there. there. Yeah. I, Sid used to live in the one that I came in, that, in that one. And then he, he changed. He changed. Then he changed again and went to that and he one. Went to That's that one. Right. I mean, yeah. I they came and did half my fence last night. They worked for nearly eight o'clock last night. Yeah. We are on the Excalibur estate at the moment. Uh, old, old prefab estate built in about 1946. The land was given by Lady Falster, who left it in her will, uh, meant to be returned to parkland uh, when permanent houses had been built for soldiers, British soldiers. These were only meant to be here ten years, but of course people have been happy in them for, what, 50, 60 years now. Now they're going to tear them down. And of course the reason is the ground is worth millions of pounds and they can pull down 186 prefabs and put 400 dwellings. Whatever a dwelling is, probably something with a, a bathroom with no windows and an extractor fan and a propensity to get uh, Legionnaire's disease. That's what we're going to get. This is Lewisham Council, they'll never learn their lesson. But you've started me off on the high horse, haven't you? <laughs> Ten years ago, I started to photograph the prefabs in, the, in Catford and also in other parts of the UK because I was very interested in the fact that people really loved their prefab and still wanted to live in them. Uh, also, they were supposed to last 10 years back in, uh, in the late 40s. And, um, so I started to take pictures of them and record their stories and uh, spend a lot of time in prefabs. And 10 years after, because this estate, which is the largest estate of prefabs in the UK, is going to be demolished in the next few years, except for six prefabs, which have been listed by the English Heritage. And that what I would like to do is record stories of people who still live here, uh, photograph them, video them, and through their stories, understand why they love so much their prefab. Well, people have enjoyed them, enjoyed living in them, which they never will in a skyscraper block. Uh, they're completely detached, so there's no noise from next door, uh, if there is. You know, you, you can't hear it a couple of doors away, so you can sleep peacefully overnight. 28 years I've been here, I love it. I want to go anywhere. Absolutely love it. Well, it's quiet. We we know all. We know everybody around our corner. You know, you won't get it again. You can leave your doors and windows open. We don't get any crime on that round here. It's it's a, just a lovely place. And they're not cold and damp. You just got to do them up a bit and leave your eating on. So uh, it's just the um. To see other people that wanted their houses, you know. But we don't want to go. We love it. There's me little note where my daughter's granddaughter's called in and I wasn't in together, you see, so yep. Can you see anything wrong in these places? I want to spot my prefab for Buckingham Palace, even if they included the Queen. I shouldn't say it really, should I?